it's Misty, and welcome to a bit of political discussion. Yeah, I know, it's got to happen, though. There have just been some recent things that have happened with YouTubers, and I want to get my, like, personal opinions out there. I'm probably not going to change my, uh, whatchamacallit, my views, but, uh... I guess I'm going to give you a little bit of a rundown of what they are. Uh, first and foremost, I am not in support of, you know, fuckhead Trump. You know that I called him fuckhead instead of, you know, his job, which I think he is doing a horrible job at. And he's incompetent at best and pretty much a danger to the entire world at worst, if not at worst going to blow it up. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's just, he's done so many things, he's broken so many laws. Well, maybe not laws, but he's definitely broken the Constitution. He's, uh, he just reminds me of my seven-year-old nephew, who throws tantrums a lot, and then also lies about why he's throwing the tantrums when he's throwing the tantrums. You know, it's a, it's a perfect analogy. Then there, uh, then there's that, and that's just, you know, I could go on for like an hour and a half, probably more, about the stupid stump Trump has done. If I just took a few minutes to wa- to uh, go to this really good site about just aggregating reports of what's happened. It's just, what the fuck has happened? Just, what the fuck just happened today dot com? Yeah, all one word. Um, anyway, I'm gonna get off of that before it makes me throw up or something. Um, speaking of stuff that might make other people throw up, uh, abortion. Yeah, I'm pro-choice. Yeah, I'm pretty much gonna be really left on this. I um, may state some not as left opinions as people might like, but I'm going to do it anyway. So I'm not like straddling the fence. I'm just saying what I personally believe, and this is what I personally believe. Uh, you know, I'm pro choice. I think women should have the right to choose whether or not they're going to have a child because if you're protecting that child's life as you, as, not you, but, uh, you know, uh, pro-lifers say, what if it screws up not only the life of the woman having the child, but also any people involved in that child's life that just weren't ready? And there is so many things, like, what about rape? You know, I believe you. if you're really not wanting the child because a rape happened, that should definitely be something you uh, have the choice to choose. So, there's that. You know, I can go on about that as well. Um, I'm not going to. I'm going to try and keep this relatively short, but I don't know how long, how well that's going to last. Uh, anyway, next topic. I'm pro-science. I really like science. I don't use it or study it as often as I should, and I think everyone should use science and study and, you know, take data, correlate what's happening, and figure out uh, just what's going on with the world, because learning how the world works on a, you know, a, like a physics level, physics level and a, even thermodynamics and all that, it's really fascinating to me. Knowing how your world functions is so cool. I just don't do it often enough. Alright, next is, uh... Uh, let's... The LGBT community, which I am a part of. I am gay, but leaning towards asexual. I just don't think I'm ever going to be in a relationship, because I find them a bit of a hassle. I was in a couple, but they just didn't work out, and it's not like I was not physically attracted to people, it's just that, eh, is kind of my feeling on the whole relationship thing, eh. 
Um, what else? You know, but, uh, you know, gays, lesbians, although it should be lesbian, gay, and then bi, trans, plus. I'm fine with all that. I don't, I don't care. It's not bothering me. Yo, if you're trans, I don't care. I mean, if we meet and we become friends, that's cool, but, you know, doesn't, doesn't affect me, so why should I care? That's kind of my thinking. Is like, why do other people care if it doesn't affect them? Although I do have a interesting story. A friend of a, eh, more of an acquaintance, but still, she's trans, um, and uh, had a bit of transphobic moment with a delivery guy. Uh, said she didn't look like, you know, insert female name, because I don't want to give names right here, right now. Um, and then refused to give her the food she ordered, and then just, I don't know, I think that guy should be fired for not doing his job. I mean, he was paid to or deliver the food. What happens if he doesn't come back with the money, and he comes back with the food, and what excuse is he going to give, and then... She she could she could just call their manager and you know give them fired. So there's that, and I think you should be fired for that. At least at least at the very very least had to pay for the food, and not been able to eat it. What else? Um. Uh, I'm going to talk gender politics for a minute. I personally don't care about your gender, whatever it is, but I do have some small, slight problem with what I'm going to call the problem with assuming gender, which I think shouldn't be a problem. If you look male or female, I am going to call you male or female based on what you look like. If you correct me, that is fine, and I will um uh refer to you in the appropriate gender uh, afterwards. However, assuming gender should be fine because it's been done for millions of years. Well, okay, we're not millions of years old. We're like, what, a few hundred thousand people have been around? That being said, of course, you know, times are changing, but... So I can't really do that and make that argument if I want... It's been done this way for millions of years. I keep doing the millions thing. It's hundreds of thousands of years. There we go. That'll work better. It just doesn't roll off the tongue as well. Anyway. um, What was I saying? Oh, yeah. and um, But the thing is, you know, trans people, gay people, lesbians, you know... They've all existed for hundreds of thousands of years, too. They just haven't been as vocal about it because societal norms wouldn't allow them to. And now that we're getting to a more, uh, uh, what's the word, accepting, tolerant society, at least we should be if, you know, progress is going to happen. And I do believe in progress. Oh, sorry, I bumped the mic. And I do believe in progress. Um then then it's good that all of this is happening. I, I, I lost my train of thought. I'm sorry. Anyway, I'm going to just... I'm with the LGBT community because I'm a part of it. And, you know, gender is... Gender is confusing. However, I, I am not going to... Uh, People is one thing, but I am not going to, um... I'll assume any any animal's gender I want to, even though, you know... You can correct me on that, too, but... Animals don't have the same brains we do. It's it's not like... I'm sure they can. It's theoretically possible they could be, you know, a different gender than the one they physically are, but it's more unlikely than it's a human. Uh, next topic. I do not believe that supporting one religion or ethnicity over everything else is good. I believe it's actually very, very wrong, and you should not do it. 
I personally have my own religion, and I do not care whether or not people believe what I believe. I believe what I believe, and at the end of the day, my religion is... The long and short of it is, be a good person, and you'll have good things come to you. Be a bad person, and you're likely to get your ass kicked. Oh, oh yeah. But, uh... Yeah, it's just, it's like, I don't support any ethnicity or religion saying that they're the one true religion. Like, I don't like Christianity because of that. I don't like, you know, any religion that does that, and I don't support any ethnicity that does that, or any group within an ethnicity that does that. You know, if if there's a group of black people that think black people are the end-all, be-all, I don't like that either, even though I don't like, you know, the KKK saying white people are the end-all, be-all. You know, I can't wait until the human race is so mixed that we're all just this one grayish tan shade, even though I don't think that can actually be a color, but y- you know what I mean. You know, I can't wait till we're the Asgard from Stargate 1. <laughs> uh, but, uh, that's that. So, yeah, and along that line, I think the KKK is evil, and I think Nazis are evil. In fact, Nazis are pretty damn evil, and should be punched more often. Yeah, Nazis, Nazis not a good thing. Not a good thing at all. Um... By the way, um, I'm going to go back to my first topic about, you know, not liking Trump. I think this Muslim ban is really stupid and short-sighted, and so is his wall, and it just forces too many people out of the country and not enough people in, especially scientists, doctors, you know, stuff like that, families that should be together, even if they're not scientists and doctors and stuff like that. I think... You know, it doesn't matter what you are. If, as long as you're a good person, I don't care if you come in here or not. Now, if you're an evil dick, regardless of your color, especially if you're now white, I'm going to hate you even more because you're giving m- myself a bad name because I am white, and you're making me ashamed to be white. And I don't want to do that. I shouldn't be ashamed to be a color. I'm not really white. I'm more like a very light tan. But then again, that's what most white people are. Very few people are actually white. In fact, I don't think anyone's... Well, I I can't say anyone's not white. Um, Very few people are actually black as well. I have seen some actually black people that are, you know, the color black. Not just this darker brown shade of skin that has more melatonin in it, which is... Why the fuck are we fighting about melatonin? Oh my god. This is giving me a headache just thinking about it. The end point of this is... We're all in this human race together. Let's try not to end it too soon. Please? Thanks, and... You know... Have a good day, (laughs) if you can, after that. Anyway, later.